Welcome back to our tech. Today I'm going to review the Black Tea PIR based security alarm. This is one of the easiest and most cost effective motion sensor based alarm system you can personally install. It costs about 800 rupees Indian and this comes in a simple white box. There are three total units in the box. Uh, there's one main unit and two infrared units. That's the remote control units, of course. The build quality is decent. It's made of uh, white plastic and the main unit has, has this window in the middle, which has a sensor in it and the red window, which you see is the remote control unit sensor. So it's an IR based sensor. The main unit is powered by four AA batteries. You can also use a six volt adapter if you have one and power it using electricity. It's also got two LED indicators. The green one lets you know that the device is being armed. The red one starts blinking once it detects an intruder. The unit is provided with a flexible wall mount, so you can mount it anywhere you want and you know decide to turn it a little bit. There is also a basic manual with instructions and specifications. The remote is fairly well built, the size of a car remote I would say. It's a single button remote and it's quite clicky. I just wish that this was a RF remote because uh, if you have to operate this device, you need to be in the line of sight. A single click will get the device armed. Uh, so as soon as you click the button, you'll see that the green light indicates uh, on the main unit indicates that it's actually arming itself and gives you about five to seven seconds to get out of the way. The device has a range of about three to six meters. However, I found that, you know, uh, once you start crossing three meters, the sensitivity really comes down. Uh, I did a small setup in the balcony as you can see and uh, this is ideally the incorrect way to set it up because you cannot have this installed anywhere close to the sun. So do not try this. So just keep that in mind, you cannot install this in sunlight. It has a limited detecting angle of about 84 degrees, it's close to 90 degrees but still you need to keep that in mind and it's got a detection range which is about 3 to 6 meters but it may have trouble detecting you um, beyond say three or four meters and also keep it away from something that emits heat. So what do you guys think? Do you think you can install it somewhere else better? Do let me know. Um, so I did a small experiment. You can install it probably in front of your door. It's a very good place to have this set up. In case somebody walks in front of your door, it's going to sound the alarm.
I finally decided to mount this on the parking area below the building. Having this in the basement was a very good test for this machine because there were a lot of cars parked. I just wanted to see if it's going to work between all this. So let's give it a shot here. Once armed, it could detect me only if I moved. Not sure if the car is actually shielding me. It did take some time to find me. The loud higher and five decibel alarm will surely alert the neighborhood. So I moved a couple of steps back and uh, of course the device took more time to find me but eventually worked. So this, this is a great device to install in one of those passageways, uh, your parking lots, you know, uh, balconies where you think somebody could actually sneak in. And this thing is going to actually detect somebody moving and the only way you can switch it off is using that alarm system remote. So that's the short review on the Blackly PIR security device. It's very easy to install anywhere in your building. I left a link in the description for you guys to buy it if you're interested. Please leave your comments. I hope you subscribe to my channel. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching.